Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Monday, the beginning of the week, the October 19th, and we are going to take a look at the Forex calendar to see what's happened and what the important events are about to happen on the uh, on the market. And then of course we are going to make some my analysis, a technical analysis of uh, various uh, currency pairs so i hope this is the, the first video of the week and uh, i think it will be kind of interesting to see if there is something uh, good going on for the traders i mean if there are any nice setups so let's just dive in uh, to the uh, forex calendar as you can see uh, on monday we got the uh, gdp data from china uh, it's already here and as we can see the uh, decrease is devastating uh, so the previous reading was 11.5 percent quarter to quarter and in the third quarter the actual reading was 2.7 the forecast was 3.2 which is worse than the previous reading and worse than the forecast uh, together uh, uh, on the on the quarterly uh, on the quarterly um, uh, data so uh, on the yearly basis we still have a slight increase because the forecast was 5.5 percent we got 4.9 percent but as you can see we got the uh, previous reading at 3.2 so this actual reading is higher than the than the previous reading so yearly China is still growing but not that fast as uh, anticipated and as you can see year to date for the third quarter the gdp is 0.7 uh, percent so it's still growing but the previous thing was minus 1.3 percent so there's a still kind of a uh, kind of a progress but uh, it's not that much at all at all so it should uh, it should of course impact the uh, the forex uh, forex market and as i think it should impact the um Australian and New Zealand uh, dollar and of course uh, Chinese uh, yuan for, for example as you can see here we got some other data like a fixed, uh, uh, fixed asset uh, investment industrial prediction and uh, retail sales retail sales are higher than expected 3.3% uh, the forecast was 1.7 and the previous reading was only half percent so this is nice good reading and the industrial production is back up again 6.9% uh, against the uh, 46 uh, in the previous month so the industrial production is uh, going up nicely the unemployment rate is going down so this is a good news as well because the previous reading was uh, 5.6 now is 5.4 percent so what we have uh, next in the on the data calendar as you can see we got some speech from the uh, federal reserve chairman um jerome powell at four uh, sorry this is a uh, two o'clock p.m and then we have another speaker from the uh, uh, Fed. This is the FOMC, uh, John Williams, at uh, 3 uh, p.m. Then we got some uh, Deputy Governor of the Monetary Policy, Ben uh, Broadband, uh, at half past um, three. Uh, this is this might be important for the for the British pound. Uh, and then, of course, um, uh, another uh, Bank of England um, Deputy Governor of uh, Financial Stability, John Confey. Uh, speaks at five past uh, fast, uh, five past uh, four. Uh, we got some data from the uh, from the Canada as well, but it's not that much important. Then again, some uh, some uh, speech from the uh, Bank of England. Uh, uh, John uh, can live at five o'clock, and then at the end of the then uh, of the day, there is a speech from the Fed member, and there is uh, Rafael Bostic and uh, Patrick. Um, Harker. So we got plenty of speeches today. Not much data, but again, we got plenty of speeches, including the uh, Fed uh, Chairman uh, Powell. Mm, as you can see, not not many not many data here for for the for the um, 
for the for the Monday. But uh, during the night, we got the monetary policy meeting minutes from this is New Zealand, as as I think. No, this is Australia. Okay, this is uh, yeah, um, Reserve Bank of Australia uh, Assistant Governor uh, Christopher Kent speaks. This is one o'clock and two thirty uh, tomorrow on, on on Tuesday. So we will take a look. I guess we should take a look at the how this data from China impacted the Australian dollar and what is going on on the New Zealand dollar as well because those those markets are, are quite connected, right? So just let's take a look at the Australian dollar, okay? This is my daily time frame chart as you can see here. This is, uh, this is my latest, uh, latest analysis and uh, as you can see here we got the rejection of the 50% uh, of the Fibonacci retracement of this wave down as you can see we got two down days then we have a test of the short-term uh, trend line support the test that the, the test lasted for one day it failed because the next day we have a clear breakout we broke even below the local technical support at 0 0.7086 the low was made at the 0 0.7057 so that's a quite important right now the market um, is consolidating around this uh, technical support uh, level and uh, we just uh, update this 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 chart so this is our technical resistance right now uh, for the for the price this is 0.7098 uh, so that's the intraday and the short term technical resistance the next one is 0.7133 uh, so we got these two levels that are, that are quite uh, important uh, for all of the um, all of the uh, day traders of course and then we can just uh, let me just uh, copy this and we can we can mark the low of this down day the low was made around the level let's say open 70 uh, 57 so if this level is violated if it's clearly violated we are going lower towards these um important uh, the key support for 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 the australian dollar this is 0.7006 right so if we break below this level that's not good for the for the bulls at all right now the momentum is still low we just bounce from the level of 40 but uh, as you can see we, the bounce was only two points higher so there's no upside momentum at all i think this data from the china doesn't allow to for the for the australian dollar to grow too much and we are still looking for you know for lower levels apparently right so open 70.6 this is the key level and i think this might be uh, the the it might be at the level of 30 points when we when we get there if we get there uh, so that might be just Oh, this this zone might be uh, oversold, uh, oversold zone and oversold market conditions. So some kind of a some kind of a bounce is expe expected here um, around this level. Maybe some kind of a consolidation, a further consolidation as well. So um, right now, as you can see, uh, there's not much going on. We got some bounce. We are trying to to bounce higher on the uh, on the Australian dollar, but nothing. Uh, interesting has happened no sign of any kind of a reversal of any kind of a bullish rally or anything the market is still between these two intraday levels and uh, between even the level of 0.7133 which is the technical resistance so bearish outlook for the australian dollar and let's just take a look on the new zealand dollar what do we have here we still have our last analysis on the screen as you can see we are building the uh, we are building the head and shoulders pattern and uh, the recent uh, price action uh, as you can see was uh, to the downside we got this pin bar here made on the 14th of the october then we have a down day we have almost hit this short-term trend line market um, as a black a solid black line and then uh, we can we can see those two updates we are going towards the lows the local lows here which are at the level of 0.6625 so that's our that's our intraday resistance let's just let's just take it here there you go um 0.6626 uh, uh, this is the intraday resistance but the still we are still following this uh this scenario here the down scenario so as long as 0.6625 26 is not violated there is still a chance for the market to go lower test or even break through this black trend line and then of course the next target is 
uh, around uh, the level of let's say 0.6520, 0.6507, which is the low of the uh, 24th of the uh, September 2020. So this is this is the outlook for the for the New Zealand dollar is still this is still the bearish outlook for the next uh, few days and uh, I think uh, as long as the level of 0.67 is not violated and of course 67 uh, 52 is not violated because it's a it's a key technical resistance then we are still uh, following the scenario the down scenario of, uh, that is indicated by this red candle so basically uh, australian dollar and the new zealand dollar two uh, currencies that might be even more uh, uh, more tr uh, traded more frequently uh, frequently traded uh, after the london open so i think this is um, the best what i can do for today for the monday because the rest is uh, basically the day full of uh, speeches from the various uh, people as we can uh, as we uh, as we had seen uh, on the beginning of this analysis so that's everything for me uh, for today and tomorrow i will be back with another uh, another technical analysis. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for watching this and see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.